Good morning. Morning. Time to get up. Uh, there you uh, go. Kelly. There you oh. go. You're welcome. How are you? Good. Yeah. Still warming up to the idea of living with Matt's mother. And it's just a lot more challenging than I, I initially thought it would be because Matt and her are so close. They work together, so they carpool in the morning. Kelly and Matt are always planning something, whether it's pedicures or our next vacation. I'm totally the third wheel with them. And instead of us going out for a date night, he'd rather hang out on the couch drinking his sleepy time tea with his mom. It's a great system. Yeah. <laughs> right, Kim? Kelly. Oh, Kelly. I like that shirt. Thank you. It's perfect for Valentine's Day, huh? True. For Valentine's Day this year, Mom said she would go and help me get Kim a gift. This looks beautiful. I want to put a little more spark back into mine and Kim's relationship. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, that's certainly spicy. Yeah? There is some intimacy that has fallen short because, you know, we do live with my mom. And she thinks that my mom sometimes is around a little bit too much. I'm wow. Eve, what's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, this is my nice son, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, nice to meet you. So what brings you in? Well, my son wants to get something beautiful for his girlfriend with a little bit of razzle-dazzle for Valentine's Day. I was hoping that you could help us. I've been in business for 13 years. I do not have a lot of mothers and sons shopping for lingerie at my store. Come on in. Let's okay, talk. Okay, great. Yeah, Thank you let's so talk. much. Yeah. That's really weird to me. But hey, mm, I don't know. This is stunning. What do you think, Mom? I like it. Wow. Hold on, I got a short to you. OK. You want to yeah. hold her for yeah. me? All right, let's go here. You got it? If I ask my mom her opinion, I'm going to get a for sure guarantee of a good response. If you had to pick, which one would you go with? I do like the cheetah. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? I like, I. Which one do you like? I think this one might be better. I think it's going to make Kim feel sexier. Sexier. And it's different. That's true. Which is good. OK. So, and I think she'll like that more. It's spicy, elegant, so I don't think we'll have any problems. We have. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is nice. She would love that. I would love that. I'm kind of her size. Yeah. I could see me wearing that, too. I can, too. I think let's do this. Let's get two of them, one for her, and then we'll get uh, Kim this as well. So I'll wrap it up for okay. you. Okay. I don't know about the mom and the girlfriend wearing the same robe. I mean, I'm not a therapist or a psychologist, but that's going to be an issue, I think. So then, Mom, with doing this stuff and getting these things, that's probably kind of what we've been thinking about is the next steps for Kim and I and what we're going to do. OK, so what are the next steps? It would be an engagement. Um, I think we could think about it. When's it going to happen? I don't know. We were, I mean, fairly soon. I mean, I was thinking about going and looking at rings. You know, Kim found a ring at Tiffany's that she likes. Tiffany's is very expensive. Yeah, it is. It's about 16000 for the ring. How big is this ring? It's a little over a carat. Oh, OK. So I know it's smaller than yours. Don't worry. <laughs> I think she knew how high she could shoot. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> hey, as long as your son is happy, you will be happy. And as long as his wife is happy, he will be happy. He has two women to please. But the number one is going to be his wife now. It is? Mm-hmm. Ta-da-da. <laughs> Come here, I'll give you a hug. <laughs> a hug. 
I'm sorry. But she's gonna be number one now. Say yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I think the saleswoman should mind her own business. I mean, the nerve. Everything revolves around like what your mom wants. She's really like wiggled her way into our relationship and I feel like she needs to take a step back. I, I wish that like you could express that to her in like however you, you would like to tell her. It like will, I don't want to hurt her. So how would you say it? Like I feel I like I would never say it. I would never tell my mom, you need to butt out. I wouldn't say that. She knows I would not say that. Mm-hmm. Even if it's important to me, you wouldn't you wouldn't say something to your mom? But okay, so you're now using guilt at me. So if I don't do something that's important to you. It should be important to both of us. I still feel like you aren't listening to what I'm saying. Lady Liberty is here. Oh my God. Why are you wearing that? Guess where you're going for your birthday? To the Big Apple, baby. We're going to New York for your birthday. Oh, we are? Yeah. Um, yay! We? Or yes, we? all of us. Your mom is coming with us? Oh my God. It'll be fun. Come on, babe. I had this old thing lying around in my closet and I said, I'm gonna surprise her. I hope Kim doesn't mind that I'm gonna be taking the middle seat because mama doesn't like to be left out. Lady Liberty. So you thought it was like a good idea for my birthday? for us three to go on a trip together rather than just me and you to go on a trip. It will be fun, I promise. Come on, babe. Am I getting like pranked right now? Like I don't understand what's going on. Who wants to go celebrate their birthday with their boyfriend's mom? I'm kind of over it at this point. Mom and I decided to just convert the garage space in her backyard into a two bedroom, two bath house for Kim and I to live in. But right when we started building, COVID hit and construction came to a complete halt. And then with that, also the wedding. So we've paused the wedding plans and now we're waiting for this pandemic to end while still living with my parents. Patiently waiting. My mom said we should get a tapestry and have a tapestry like I'm not getting a tapestry in my home. Kelly and I have disagreed on pretty much every step of this house construction. Okay. We're going through the garage? Yeah. Hi, Shelly. Hello. Shelly is a designer that I have used for my house. Let me take this off. It's okay yeah. if I yeah. take this off? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, don't worry. Kelly, what is that? What? What do you got this? there, Mom? What are you holding? <laughs> it's for my bathroom. I did say you could have the half bath, yes. Did you talk to Kim about this before you did that? Well. No. Oh, he didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh. A few weeks ago, I learned that Kelly's gonna be designing the guest bathroom in our house, so. I asked you if she could. Okay, you didn't ask me, you told me. And I'm pretty sure your sure. mom told you and then you told me. Hey, have you tried to say no to her? I, I was thinking black walls. In, in the wall. bathroom? Yep. Maybe a wall, but I don't know if okay. you want to have all of the walls no. black. Okay, no. anything but white walls. Okay. Okay. Kelly is, um, she's intense. She needs to kind of let go a little bit because her son is going to be marrying Kim and she's going to be part of their lives. So that's the yeah. galaxy black. I like that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. Is that a white countertop? You gave too? the executive this, okay. authority. That's Matt. more. This is more what you're looking for. That's, I think that's more. Yeah. Style. And Matt, I like it too. Matt, it's very Remember, pretty. that's beautiful. Executive authority you gave me. I don't know anything about that. No, we just go with the light. Okay. Kim's yeah. happier with it too. Good. Perfect. You know, she's not your wife yet, but she's yeah. gonna. You got to make her happy. Yeah, yeah. that's the way. Happy wife, happy life. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that, Kelly? 
Kim has to realize that my fingerprints are gonna be all over this new home, just like the wedding, and Kim is gonna have to get used to it. So basically, complete dominion. Yes. It being Mother's Day, I, of course, had to bring some gifts to give mom, and then I got Kim a special gift as well Ooh, that she'll be able it? to take it? with her to what is Texas. It? What is it? Let's start out with this one. I knew you would love it. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. So this is from one of our favorite movies, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings to mom and I is like looking through a scrapbook. We dressed up to premieres of it. We saw the third one 13 times in theaters. We love it. Wow, it like fits your dress perfectly. I love it. Look at that. La Ana, Beneath, Ni, Emil. Malinia, Yondanya. What was that? Oh, we know a little Elvish. A little what? Elvish. So what did you just say? I give you my love, mother. I love you, my son. OK, anyways, moving right. on. Next one. You can learn Elvish, too. I'm OK. <laughs> I'm so glad that I came today, because Kelly's over here getting spoiled with these lavish gifts. And this is supposed to be my going away send off. Oh. oh da, 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 da. It's a key. It's a symbol for when Kim and I move into the house, you getting a key and us all respecting each other. We did not agree on this at all. But this is just. Kimmy, I'm home. We did not talk about this. I That's love not, it. not, not cool. Today. I love it. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Are you serious right now? Don't worry. Like, I got you something, too. I mean, you are our palm mom. Kelly's literally cradling that key like it's her firstborn child. Stop. Now you're just ridiculing me. It's not <laughs> cool. I'm just trying to make you laugh, Kimmy. Oh, Kelly got a nice piece of jewelry and I got a mug. It is thoughtful, though. I didn't know you were coming, Kelly. Should have expected it, huh? Yes. Come on. So. Go ahead. Honestly, I, Kelly, we are just having like a pretty like deep talk. It's okay. I mean, whatever Matthew goes through, I'm involved. It feels like it's always two against one, that Kelly is Matt's safety net, that, you know, he's always gonna have somebody there on his side. So? Um, well, She deserves more. Is that what Kim said, or that's what you're saying? That doesn't sound like coming from you. Kim deserves better. She deserves somebody that's going to be willing to pack a duffel bag and. Matt, that's honestly not even what it is. Like, that's so surface level. I wish that Matt would have wanted to have her own place. You know, issues that we've talked about before, and you've, you're aware of those too, but Matt just hasn't been an, a good partner. You're saying that Matt hasn't been a good partner, but you have? Yes. I mean, Matt is, Matt's a great catch. My son pours his heart into everything he does, and that goes for the person he loves. Your mom is your go-to person. And I think that your wife, your fiance, should be your go-to person. I mean, you might be a good partner for somebody else, but I, I deserve something better. Than what? Than me. I don't know if I see you as being my husband. Kim. I'm done. 
Told you she'd do it. Get your stuff, Mom. We're leaving. Vaughn, come on. Go to hell, Kim. yourself. Come on. I'm done. Come on, Mom. We were together for four years. We were engaged for almost a year. Looking back on it, I feel like we were not a match. You know, she doesn't accept my mom the way I do. My mom's 110% invested into my world. She's my best friend. So I hope to find another person that will accept that and love it and embrace it and respect it. My mom is always there if I need her. We live about 20 feet from each other. And after everything that's happened, we're still best friends, probably even closer than we ever were. Maddie! Yeah, I'm getting ready. Breaking up is hard to do. It was like a divorce, and it didn't just affect Matthew. It affected the whole family. Special delivery! Whoa. What are you doing? Hubba hubba. <laughs> Thanks. What do you, are you ready to do a commercial or what? I hope so. What do you got? Um, I have comfort food. All right, well, can I get dressed? Sure. Okay, yeah, go on. All right. If you found someone that you wanted to marry and that person asked if you would sign a prenup, is that something you would consider? Did you sign a prenup? No. No, see you. Why would you prepare for a divorce, though, is the way I see it. I think she was kind of a little bit snarky with her remarks. I didn't appreciate it. If I search your name on the internet, what will I find? A jail sentence? Uh, my LinkedIn? Nudes? I said nudes. My LinkedIn is what you would find. All right, good. Kelly's questions seem very, I don't want to say sarcastic, but almost as if she's questioning my character. Very condescending. The morning's going great, you know? I wake up to go get Brittany coffee. Then I hear this noise. <laughs> good morning. Hope you guys had some good sleep. What are you doing? Mom? Hey. Hi. This tree's going down. Why? What, what do you? Because it's blocking my view. View of what? Of my Matthew house. and his comings and goings. It's a tiny tree. She's gonna rip the tree out with the ATV. Oh my God. Matt and I had such a great night last night and it is really a bummer to wake up to Kelly quite literally ripping our morning apart. And it's, she's insane. I cannot believe I'm waking up to this right now. Is she serious? Uh, yeah, she's serious. Maybe just leave it alone? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, she did. Are you kidding me? Is that normal? That's a new one. Ah, oh, well, say la vie, mon ami. I have abided by Matt's rules. I've been belittled and degraded and just put down constantly by his mother. And I don't care what that woman thinks of me. She is wretched. You're just all riled up. You stay the hell away from my family. My Continue friends- Continue being a <laughs> prima donna, Matt. Bye. Bye, Britt. Hey, guess what, Brittany? There's only one Brittany and it ain't you, hun.
What? It's pretty b This is hopefully the last time I will ever have to see Matt. I do not want to see him another day of my life. He has huge mommy issues. I mean, their love for each other is borderline crazy. He seriously needs therapy. I deserve so much better, and I don't need another man trying to tell me my worth because I already know it. I dodged a bullet, and I'm so thankful I did.